welcome back everybody well while we're still working on the war of the worlds project uh, I got some pieces out there drying while I repaint and resurface the uh, the actual spaceship I'm gonna go ahead and start on another project I want to do this one is I am going to make a World War II diorama of from a movie I want to recreate the battle scene between the Fury, the Sherman named Fury, and the Tiger tank in the movie Fury. But we're gonna do it with World War Tunes. Dun 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 from Meng. These things are fun and silly, and why not? So, we're going to tune up a combat scene. First, we're going to do up the, the Sherman. I'm not going to use any of the markings that are in the bo box, except for the standards. And I'm going to mark it up and mount it up and do all the detail so it kind of resembles the Fury. And the same thing I'm going to do with the Tiger One. I'm going to make sure it has the same markings as the movie but it's going to be all tuned up. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what we get in the kits. First, the Sherman. So, box art. So we got cute little Sherman tank. You can see it's kind of compressed and all that. So, nothing major there. Mm -hmm. Got something on the, uh, the M M4A1 variant of the medium tank N4 were the most numerous tanks produced during World War II, famous for its reliability. Hmm, interesting. All right. So, in the baggie, in the baggie, there's how the baggie opens. We get two rubber tracks, a set of decals, and one, two, three sprues. Not bad. They look pretty nice. Everything's crisp and clean. Details pretty good, you know, for a cartoon tank. Details are pretty nice. So there we go. And then we have our instruction booklet. Which seems to be fairly basic assembly. Yep. Pretty easy stuff. So, it's the Sherman. Take a look at the tiger. And our box art again. Same thing. On the back it says here the Tiger One was the most famous German heavy fighting tank during World War II. It saw its first combat action in 1942. Yada yada yada. Meh. Not bad. And looks like about the same. We've got a standard set of decals. Yeah. We got one. Oops. There's the body. Two. We get more sprues with this one. Oh, we got. I don't know what those are, probably for the wheels. Three. Four. And we get four sprues and the hull. Hmm. What a nice little detail in the hull, looks like. Axe. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. So. We're going to go ahead and assemble these. And then... Uh, We'll come back. 
See you in a bit.
here we are. One adorable little Sherman tank. So, I'm going to put the tracks on later. They just, you know, stretch on over the wheels like so. There we go. But that's that, but I'm going to take those off so I can paint and do it up. Now, one of the things, I did leave some of the, uh, like the, a uh, uh, couple of the little uh, handles off because on the Fury there was a uh, stowage back here and it had those logs on the side for the external armor. So we're going to put that on. So anyway, um, that's the Sherman tank. You know, like, wee! <laughs> it is kind of a cute little model. It was kind of fun to build. Pretty easy. Fiddly little parts. Lots of fiddly little parts. Uh, so, if you're going to build one, be careful. Because there's there were a couple of them that just went kawing. And they were all across the room. So, had to fight the carpet monster for those. Alright, so... Next one, I'll go ahead and build up the um, tiger, and uh, we'll be getting back to the War of the Worlds project as soon as uh, the paint on that one dries. So, uh, until later, you have a great day, and uh, we'll see you real soon, okay? Keep on modeling, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.